interesting to learn the law. The law is uh, from the Gemara and Arabam brings it and it says as follows. Normally you build the Maseva a tombstone where the dead person is buried. And the tombstone is there so that we know his name and we say a few words about him and, and you know we, we, we write a nice little paragraph to the extent that we can about the, the deceased. The interesting law is that Sadiqim, Achamim, you don't put a tombstone upon their grave. That's interesting law. Why? The Chachamim say, She Sadiqim Yivrehem and Zichronam. The Sadiqim, the words of Torah that they taught, that's the best memory. That's the best memory. And so, so, okay. So, well, so why not put a tombstone anyway? Okay, let's say, you, you know, my father... Allah Shalom wrote so many books and articles and taught so much Torah his whole life. Okay, put a tombstone. We will. That's a minah. Don't get worried. We will. But why, why does the Gemara say no, you didn't put a tombstone? Because the tombstone emphasizes the physical. It emphasizes the physical existence. That's where his body is. But that's not what he's about. The Sadiqim, they have a life that is well beyond the physical existence, this little grave. They're in Olam Haba. They're studying Torah with Abraham, Yishak, Yaakov, with Arambam, with the Bios Karo. This is not what they're about. Their real essence is their words, is their deeds. That's what they left in this world. So the Chachamim say, we don't want you to put a tombstone, because if you put a tombstone, you're going to say, oh, this is him. No, that's not him. And that's why, and I'm going to end with this, there's actually a law that a person shouldn't go too much to the dead count. You go to your loved ones. You go on the seventh day, you go on the thirtieth day, you go to your best holidays, we do that. But don't turn it into a habit. Don't turn it into a habit. It's not a great virtue to go to a Beth Kevarot. Why not? I want to I wanna, I wanna visit the grave of Hanambam. Why, why are you telling me that that's not something I should be doing? Why? You want to visit Hanambam? Open up his books. I'm telling you, when you read the writings of the Sadiqim, the Sadiqim are there with you. That's the real closeness to the Sadiqim. And the real, the great Hakamim, I know even Arab Vodah Yosef, my father, other great Hakamim, they didn't want to go to Beth Kavarot. They said, What well, I have to go to Beth Kavarot? I want to study Beth Kavidah. I'll read his book. I don't want to go to his. I want to study Shulchan Aruch, Rabbi Yosef Karo. I don't want to go to his cabin. That's the real Rabbi Yosef Karo. And that was the correct, uh, that was the correct practice. So we, we, we visit the Beth Kavarot. We do. For our loved ones. But that's for us. That's so we feel something. But if you want to connect with them, remember their good deeds. Remember their misfortune. Talk about what they did. That's the best connection. Uh, 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 uh,